Hi, thank you so much for tuning in to P2P Relates, where we talk about all things relationships. I'm Pat Brenfro, and this week we are talking about Chapter 11, Copastatic. What are your coping mechanisms? In marriage, it's so important to check yourself before you wreck yourself. And in order to do that, you've got to be in touch with what it is you typically do in uncomfortable situations. I know he's trying to push my buttons, but I cannot be manipulated. Come on. I could push all of your buttons right now if I wanted to. No, you couldn't actually, Kaylee. I Kaylee, think actually because, I could. No, I'm I couldn't, Kaylee, because... No, I can't Kaylee, you. you actually, if you would listen to I'm me, just to listen, listen to you. I could tell you why. So tell me. Is that making you mad? I'm Roy Kent, and I get paid to play a game, but I'm mad all the time. <sighs> <laughs> Wasn't that something? Now that's an example of someone <laughs> with a coping mechanism that may not be all that great that you might not want to look like. Coping mechanisms are pretty much led by two different ways. Either, first of all, what is your self esteem like? If you're confident and you love yourself, therefore you have a capacity to love others. When things happen that are a little adverse, you're going to be able to confront those issues. You're going to be able to have conversations with the people that you love when you all don't see eye to eye, which is inevitable. So one of the things I want to share with you is about emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, I would define it out front as the quotient that measures your ability to think of others as you do you. As your behavior is is out there and you're interacting with people, do you think of others first? Because when we're interacting, we're not on an island by ourselves. We're interacting with others. And so the better we're able to consider others as we make decisions about how we will respond, communicate, relate, interact, the higher our quotient is, the greater our emotional intelligence is. You know, for years, we measured IQ. We measured your intelligence, your intellect, your brain's ability to comprehend numerous things. But then about 30 years ago, we started looking at emotionally how intelligent are you? Because if you're foolish in how you behave, then how you show up with others is going to be problematic. So anyway, as I give you that context, we're looking at coping mechanisms in a marriage. What are yours? As a single person, what are yours now? So we're in a situation where you're offended by someone. They ask you to do something that you really wouldn't choose to do on your own. And you don't really like that. How do you react? Are you passive aggressive? Meaning... You act like you didn't hear what they said? Or are you going to ask them, tell them how you really feel about it? Are you going to consider why it was important for them to ask for you to do that particular thing or, or respond a particular way? Or do you have the ability to have conversations rather than be defensive and react quickly? What is your temper like? Do you know how to manage that or do you stay away? Are your coping mechanisms more of an avoidance tendency when I can't deal with it or it's uncomfortable, I don't like it, I just won't deal with it? So there are many things that we do to cope. And there was a TED Talk that I recently listened to where this man was from Liberia and he came up in a really, really difficult childhood situation and his mom had to go through so much. And so he said by the time he was 12, he hated people. <laughs> and I, <laughs> some young people I've been dealing with lately, they say, people are trash. And I think <laughs> while it's such a crass thing to say, it's true. When we're in our flesh and we're just behaving whatever way we want to behave, man, we can fall in that category of trash. <laughs> and so I guess he saw enough of that and he decided he hated people. And he eventually moved to the States he was homeless for a while, and then he got on his feet, and he just didn't smile. Well, my life changed, and it changed for a better. One morning while collecting a bowl of soup from a young lady, she said to me, 
You should try smiling a little more. Smiling? That was strange. That was the first time I've heard something that great in a long time. By that time I hated people anyway, I didn't want to be around people. So I gave it a try. As simple as it sounds, it changed my life. My hope this afternoon is that you too will come to a point of finding your own coping mechanism. iPhone smile, and it worked for me. You can find a coping mechanism that will work for you as well. And you too will not have to run away from fear. You won't have to, 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 to hide yourself from fear, that you too can also embrace fear. And it, it was something that was bewildering to him. He had never even considered that that was necessary, <laughs> but he tried it. And all of a sudden he traded his hatred and his resentment and his anger for smiling. Because he said when he could force himself to smile through adversity, he recognized that he was able to go to the next level and be grateful. Grateful for still being here, grateful for overcoming, grateful for coming through. So I don't want to belabor that, but I just wanted to give you a chance and challenge you. As I write this chapter, I'm very thorough. I try to cover all types of ways that coping mechanisms may manifest in a relationship. And you'll have to read the book. But I just wanted to summarize it today and just say, let me challenge you. As you're preparing for getting married one day and looking forward to it, you want to check yourself now and see how do you show up? How do you show up when you're interacting with someone and things may not be going the way you want them to go? Are you fussy? Are you cranky? Are you confrontational? Again, are you passive aggressive where you just act like you didn't see it, you didn't know it, you didn't feel it? Or do you really address things considering others, utilizing and increasing your emotional intelligence? So I just wanted to give you that today. I wasn't with you last week and I actually missed you. I, I was uncomfortable all Friday, but I had traveled and it was just no way to incorporate it. So I just wanted to put that in here this week to say to you in the future, if for some reason I don't post, I usually have to be really going through something to not be able to make it happen. Just look at the other 99 videos that I've made and see what you can pull out of that and get yourself ready. Hey, next week is chapter 12, and then we got one more chapter after that, and uh, then we'll be going on to other relationship issues. In the meantime, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to tap the bell. That way you'll get notifications when I do post. And uh, give me a, a like, give me a re reaction to what you think. Tell me what your coping mechanisms are. Have a great day and a great week. I'll see you next week.